sorry if I seem a little upset today. I truly can't understand why so many people keep complaining. Why don't they trust God? Don't they remember the incredible things He's done for us since we left Egypt? The Red Sea, manna and quail, winning a big battle, and the most important thing of all, oh, wait, I forgot you weren't there. You don't even know how we escaped from Egypt. Let me tell you what happened. My people had been captives in Egypt for more than 400 years, and those last years were no picnic. Pharaoh was awful to us. He worked us so hard and beat us. It was horrible. God told me to ask Pharaoh to let us go so we could worship God the right way. But that made Pharaoh even more mad and more mean. Finally, God said he would rescue us. First, he sent nine plagues to Egypt. Really bad things like locusts and frogs and water turning to blood. It was gross. But they only happened to the Egyptians, not to us. But even then, Pharaoh wouldn't let us go. And then God sent one last plague. This plague was really serious. God warned that if Pharaoh wouldn't let us go, all the firstborns of sons of Egypt would die, from Pharaoh's son to the lowest Israelite son. But God said that none of our children would be harmed. God said there would be crying all over Egypt as the Egyptians realized their children were dead. But in our houses, it would be quiet. The angel of death would pass right over our houses. You know, as Israelites, we worship God by sacrificing animals to Him. God told me to have each Israelite family kill a perfect lamb and roast the meat. God said to paint the blood of the lamb on our doors to show we were God's people. The angel of death would pass over the houses with blood painted on the doors and would spare the children inside. That night felt like the longest one in history. It seemed to last forever. We waited and waited in silence for the angel of death to come over Egypt. Then. Right at midnight, we heard what sounded like a loud wind pass over our houses. Then in the distance, we, we heard a father cry out and a mother scream. Soon it seemed like all of Egypt was filled with crying and screaming. But in our houses, the Israelite houses, not even a dog barked. It, just, it was just as God had promised. The angel of death had passed over our houses. All of a sudden, an order came from Pharaoh for us to leave Egypt right away. God rescued us from the captivity and led us out of Egypt that very night. In fact, that's why we, when we headed to the Red Sea. You remember that? What an incredible rescue. God saved us that night, a night we call Passover, because the angel of death has passed over our houses. I hope you've learned, as I have, that in all things we need to trust God.